In 2003, Bank of Uganda granted a loan of 11 million US dollars, approximately 21 billion shillings, in Standard Chartered Bank to Hassan Ibasaja Baraba's hide and skin business. The controversial 21 billion shillings is now back to haunt him 10 years after. Basaja Baraba was bailed out after he failed to service loans from commercial banks. The Secretary of Treasury, Keith Muhakanizi, today informed the Watchdog Public Accounts Committee of Parliament that due to the failure by Basaja Baraba to honor his obligation to refund the money, Minister of Finance has instead gone ahead to pay Bank of Uganda. You tell us how you came to ask your own for 21 billion from Bank of Uganda on behalf of businessman. What we did was simple. Pay back Bank of Uganda, but Vasaja Barawa had to remain with an obligation to government of Uganda. And we still have the securities held in Central Bank to this effect. Who in the government moved the Bank of Uganda to pay Basaja Balaba? Mr. Chairman, it can't be government. There must have been an officer, an agent of government. The committee was also informed that Basaja Balaba attempted to forge new titles of the properties he used as Corato to the central bank. We went to the court and uh, secured a reversal of the cancellation. Those transfers were fraudulent and he cancelled the title. Why? Because they were so numerous. And even the certificates of the, the transfers were a bit forged. The MPs were also upset after learning that the Minister of Finance is unaware of the location of the properties and that they are still in the hands of Asaja Baraba. Your boss has said that you know them and you know where they are. I, 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 no, you wait. <laughs> you have said the officer in charge of those properties. Is Mr. Boch. Who knows? Is the officer who is here? No, I don't. They are, they are not transferred in government's name. I don't know. <laughs> then they are not our property. I want to cross check with the, the system why we haven't taken action and come back to CID will be directed to swing into action to go into those properties and find out who is transacting business there. As we talk now, Mr. Baraba still is in possession of these properties and he collects rent from them. <laughs> I think. <to> <laughs> <them>. <laughs> Don't intimidate the chair. <laughs> no, I was, uh, I was thinking. I have lost already two kilograms. No, oh, maybe only. I'm <laughs> two kilograms of my, of my weight, <laughs> chairman. You are more concerned about individuals rather than the taxpayers. Honestly. <clears throat> and this man still moves around with the properties. The same Basaj was recently paid 182 billion shillings in compensation for the loss of business in the state markets. Muhakanizi was also put to task to explain the overspending of over 490 billion shillings beyond the required 18% in the budget. The money was part of the down payment for the procurement of fighter jets. That, I'm apologizing for that year where we went beyond 18%. That's all. Mr. Muhakanizi. The security of the country. Who has attacked you? The, the security. Yes, let me explain it. Let, I'm not tired. For the security of the country. We couldn't come to public and journalists and everybody were going to buy these jets. Mwakanizi declined to name who ordered him to clear the payment of jets. Jingo Francis, NTV Parliament. <laughs>